I'm Rick and I'd like to welcome you to iScan by Autoland. In today's video we are getting back to basics and going over one of the most important tests in automotive diagnostics, the voltage drop test. Voltage drop is the amount of voltage loss that occurs through all parts or part of a circuit due to the resistance in that circuit or the work being done. When testing voltage drop, the majority of the voltage drop in that circuit is used by the load or component, with small amounts being used by connections and wiring. When testing specific circuits, check the repair manual for the vehicle you are working on to confirm that the acceptable voltage drop for that circuit. If there are no specs, here are a few rules of thumb. 0.1 volts DC or 100 millivolts for connectors, junctions, or connections. 0.1 volts DC or 100 millivolts for grounds. 0.2 volts DC or 200 millivolts for wires and cables and 0.3 volts DC or 300 millivolts for switches. When testing, keep in mind that the voltage drop in the circuit should drop across the component or load and not in the connections or wiring to the component. To perform a voltage drop test, you'll need a DVOM with test leads and varying test probes. I always have alligator and pinpoint style nearby. Now before testing the electrical system on any vehicle, make sure the battery is fully charged. We're going to turn our DVOM on to DC volts and connect positive to positive and negative to negative. Our battery is fully charged at 12.7 volts. That's a great reading. In this example, we're going to test the starter motor circuit. Let's start with a positive cable to the starter. Begin by setting your DVOM to DC volts. Positive test lead to the positive on the battery negative test lead to the positive connection at the starter. Okay, we're going to activate this starter. Go ahead and crank. Now let's take a look at our reading. We have a voltage drop of 0.1 volt and that is a good reading. Next we can test the ground connection to the starter. Connect the DVOM positive test lead to the negative battery terminal. and the negative test lead to the ground or stud at the starter. Now we'll activate the starter. Go ahead and crank. Let's take a look at our reading. We have a voltage drop of 0.1 volt. That's a good reading. Earlier we said the load or component should be where the voltage drop occurs. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Connect the DVOM positive test lead to the positive battery terminal and the negative lead to the negative connection at the starter. Now we're going to activate that starter. Go ahead and crank. Let's take a look at our reading. We have a voltage drop of 10.37 volts and that is a good reading. I'd expect to see cranking voltage anywhere from 10.5 to 10.8 volts all depending on the age and condition of the battery. Remember, when testing voltage drop, you can test the whole circuit to identify a problem. Then move through the circuit, testing at each connector or junction to pinpoint the source of the voltage drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.